The producers and distributors of Tech AV audiovisual training aids welcome you to this, the first presentation in the Shielded Metal Arc Welding Series. This is the introduction program in which we shall describe the welding process known as Shielded Metal Arc Welding, or SMAW. And then we shall look at typical equipment used in the process. Let us begin by describing the term arc welding. Arc welding is the process of using the heat generated within an electric arc to join or fuse metal together. An electric circuit that can be controlled is required to produce the arc needed for the welding process. The basic circuit for a manual metal arc system consists of the following. A power source, namely an arc welding machine, that generates either AC or DC power. A work lead that electrically connects the workpiece to the welding machine. An electrode lead that connects the welding machine to an electrode holder. And finally, there is the electrode. The circuit is completed when the electrode makes contact with the metal to be welded, known as the workpiece. An arc is created when the tip of the electrode is raised slightly off the workpiece, thereby causing the current to jump across the gap. The temperature within the arc can exceed 6,000 degrees centigrade, causing local melting of metal below the electrode tip, forming what is called a welding pool or crater. Metal within the crater mixes or fuses together and then solidifies upon cooling, resulting in a fusion bond between the workpieces. That is the simple explanation of an arc welding circuit. Let us now discuss the term shielded arc welding. At high temperatures, metal will react chemically with the gases in the atmosphere, primarily oxygen and nitrogen, to form oxides and nitrides. The result of this chemical combination is an extremely weak weld. The term shielding used in welding processes means keeping air away from the molten metal. In order to understand how this is done, we need to take a closer look at electrodes. An electrode consists of a metal core, referred to as the wire, which is covered or coated with a chemical compound known as flux. During the welding process, this flux burns off and forms an envelope or shield of gas around the arc and the welding area. This shield effectively prevents air from coming into contact with the molten metal. The flux also mixes into the molten pool and upon cooling creates a hard layer called slag to form over the weld. Slag shields the hot metal during the cooling process. When the weld has cooled sufficiently, this slag layer must be removed for inspection or before further welding can take place. Thank you. 